This topic is on secondary prevention of myocardial infarction. This is in accordance to NICE guidelines 2019. MI refers to the death of myocardial tissue due to ischemia. Causes of MI can be split into demand and supply reasons. Demand for oxygen increases in conditions such as thyrotoxicosis. Supply reasons include occlusion of blood vessels and reduction in oxygen levels in blood. One important cause is atherosclerosis. A thermatous plaque may rupture or erode in a coronary artery, causing a thrombus to form. Anemia can cause MI as well. MIs can be classified according to ECG changes. STEMI is generally caused by complete and persisting blockage of the artery. Non-STEMI reflects partial or intermittent blockage of the artery. Risk factors can be split into non-modifiable and modifiable. Non-modifiable factors include male gender, older age, lower socioeconomic status, and family history. Modifiable factors include obesity, hypertension, smoking, high cholesterol, diabetes. Complications of MI include heart failure. Acute heart failure can be due to valvular diseases like mitral regurgitation and papillary muscle rupture, arrhythmias like bradycardia, heart blocks, and cardiac arrests. Other complications include chronic heart failure, angina, pericarditis, Dressler syndrome, stroke, and mental health conditions like depression. Do note that acute pericarditis usually occurs a few days after MI, while Dressler syndrome is an autoimmune condition which occurs a few weeks after. After an MI, lifestyle management is very important. These include education, smoking cessation, promoting a cardioprotective diet, exercise, and reduction of alcohol. Offer cardiac rehab and encourage annual influenza immunization. According to NICE guidelines, pharmacological treatments to prevent further MI should include an ACE inhibitor, dual antiplatelet therapy, which includes aspirin and a second antiplatelet, a beta blocker and a statin. You should know the mechanism of actions of antiplatelet therapy. Aspirin causes irreversible inactivation of the COX enzyme, which reduces prostaglandin synthesis, reducing inflammation. Side effects include GI bleeding, renal dysfunction, and RISE syndrome in children. Clopidogrel selectively inhibits the binding of ADP to its platelet P2Y12 receptor. This activates the glycoprotein GP2B3A complex, inhibiting platelet aggregation. Monitoring and reviewing of patients with MI should include screening for mental health conditions, assessing for heart failure and left ventricular function, managing other comorbidities such as diabetes, hypertension, and monitoring blood pressure and renal function. Objective assessment include echocardiogram. In conclusion, you should know how to recognize myocardial infarction, learn the risk factors and complications of MI management of MI and the need to monitor and review these patients. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos in the future.